morning. In the middle of Siberia, my well-planned travel changed into a nomadic way of living, with spending a maximum of 100 euro per month, all of which I did. Home sickness drove me back to the Netherlands, but soon I realized that I wanted to finish my original travel plan. Hitchhiking via Turkey and Iran to Kyrgyzstan and back for the you wedding of my sister. This is Rhino Rice between Securities and Freedom. You are a child of the earth. You are a face in the It's the 18th of December, just a cop here, close to the border with Serbia in Hungary. Christmas is coming closer, not sure where I will be with Christmas. So I pick my stuff and walk to the closest gasoline station. Okay, kind of difficult to get away here. A lot of people are just coming to me to help. Most of them are Romanians, very friendly people, not a lot of Serbians. Three hours later. After three hours I found someone, a Greece man. He's passing Belgrado on his way to Greece. <laughs> but then he landed in a fight about money with the owner of the gasoline station. So let's see what happens. Half an hour later. Alright, so my name is Theo Ren, as you know. He was backpacking, I picked him up from about in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Is more welcome to come to Greece for summer. Very nice beaches, very nice women beaches as well. Beaches, beaches <laughs> and beaches with E and E and I and everything. In the car, I decide to go all the way to Greece instead of going to Belgrado. Last minute in a McDonald's in Serbia I found someone to host me in Thessaloniki. We drove all night listening to the complete 60s collection of Tio while driving through Hungary, Serbia, Macedonia and Greece to Thessaloniki. So, one moment you are down in Hungary, next evening, thousand kilometers lower. Winter Greek salad with posinigamimeni uh, aglikilexi, the pusinigamoto. And there, in Thessaloniki, I meet Freddy. Welkom, welkom. Dit is de eerste aflevering van Rijn en Freddy in Griekenland. Uh, welkom, zoals je ziet. Griekenland, uh, oh Griekenland, jij bent land Bye, how <laughs> Next to the crazy time, he inspired me. Research how inhumane the system is of taking creativity out of their souls, pushing them in the, this matrix of money. We decided to squat an empty house and clean it from the inside to make it a house for the neighborhood. The Rose Leeuw. Waiting for us to, uh, to enrich his kingdom, to celebrate the peace and the love and the care for, for society. Wow. There's a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, somebody used it to sell all these clothes. There is art. Art. It was a this is maybe religious person. And 
and uh, you see here. This is the making this image. You see everyone is holding, holding, holding the black person that is taking something in the middle of the tile. Do you see there is no, no circle around his head? Uh, the black Pete of the Netherlands. But then a man came. He said he knew the owner. It was a priest. He looked friendly, so we trust him. And he promised us to call the owner. Yeah, it's better with him. But in the meanwhile, he was talking with us. He also called the police. And they came. We did not have our passports with us. So we were arrested on the first Christmas day.